let's get to what happened. So I'm going to show you uh, what happened with the, 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 this is so crazy. Denzel McBeth loved it. I love the part where it said, King Leo don't got nothing on me. <laughs> Y'all got to see it. It's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, people are giving him a hard time for not saying Penelope Cruz's name. He said both Javier Dean and his wife. But it's joke structure. He mm. He's saying wife. Because of right. the joke, straight that feeds the joke structure, but some people see it as dismissive. Okay. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane, too. Can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> now, you said everybody knows the story now. So now he's laughing. Uh, she's laughing. Uh, the people behind them are laughing. Uh, she's laughing. She's laughing. She's so everybody's laughing except her, who, who's who's the butt of the joke. Okay, and here we go because she's got uh, al alopecia. I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh -huh. She has a condition that causes you to lose your hair. Is that common knowledge? Like, is that something Chris Rock would have known? I didn't know it. I, yeah, I just thought I, I I didn't know it when I saw. Her, I thought she was just doing that, and I, honestly, she looks good. <laughs> she's yeah, it, she's like, hard for her to not look good. I think she's just a good looking person. Yeah, right. And so she actually she pulls it off no problem. And I didn't even think that was an insult. I didn't think that was an insult. Did you think that? I, anyway. I thought it was tepid at, at at best. It was the yeah. most mildest of of insults. And um, here we go. And some comedians even thought it was a compliment. And I'm going to show you that later. Here we go. So look, they're all laughing. Everybody's laughing. Will Smith thinks it's funny, except Jada. She doesn't. <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm and even Chris Rock thinks that was a nice joke. That was really tame. It was. I yeah. thought. I think so. What do you think, Kirk? Tame. G.I. Jane was in great shape. <laughs> here we go. Ready? So now, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Now, Chris Rock was leaning in because he saw Will Smith laughing. And I'm sure he was smiling on the way up, so he thought he was probably going to do or say something funny. And then he just hit him. He assaulted him. That's called an assault. <laughs> that's called that's called a sucker punch. He didn't say put your hands up. He didn't. He just walked over him and tried to. And he did. And Chris Rock just took it. Now, if that was me, I would have fell down and said, "Call." <laughs> I would have said, "Call an ambulance." And <laughs> Because I got a brain dis I got a brain disorder now. Because that's what well, I would have done. I would be uh, honestly, because I have been in with somebody, but I somebody came and hit me because after show was on stage. That I, I would be in shock if I, I was. I would stand there like, wait, did that just happen? That, that's exactly what, that's what, what it did. seemed like he was doing. He was like, so let's yeah. watch the rest of it. And the reason why this is important is because this is not uncommon to happen to comedians. This happens. Every almost every comedian I know has a story. I have three. <laughs> yeah. Three stories. So, like <laughs> once a decade, this something like this happens to me personally. And now, what this is doing is normalizing that. And now you're going to find this is going to be happening a lot more. Watch this. Wow. So now, Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. So now people think <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. Out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to. No, he's screaming like a part. he's wow. screaming like a maniac. Oh, no, fuck it. Ah! I mean, he is screaming like an unhinged maniac, not a 400 millionaire, most celebrated celebrity in all of Hollywood. So this is entitlement. This is narcissism. This is entitlement.
Keep her name out your mouth. And if you want to eat her out, go through the proper channels. <laughs> Call my assistant, make an appointment. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is... Uh, and by the way, comedy and the Oscars don't mix. The Oscars are like a fancy blowjob, and nobody wants to hear wisecracks while they're getting a blowjob. So let's just <laughs> keep that in mind. That's the reaction he gave. Like, you just interrupted a blowjob. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so here we go. So he's screaming like a maniac. Do you think everyone around him feels safe right now? Where's security? Where And where is the goddamn security? So you wonder how stuff like Harvey Weinstein happens for decades. You see how nobody did a fucking thing when the biggest star in the room decided to commit an assault on live camera in front of millions and millions of people? They did nothing. Not only did they do nothing, they gave him a fucking award a couple minutes later. Well, the guy committed figure, an assault on a host. But you, you got to figure in, like, their natural, like, you know racism that they fake isn't racism they probably like well he's probably like you know there's some what, what is that term the soft bigotry of low expectation you know they're doing that like i don't know i mean maybe you have to slap someone that's that kind of nonsense like uh uh i don't know i think they really it was very 90s it was like gi jane reference and then like the source awards afterwards this is i mean and he's unhinged and out of his mind and out of control do you think the people around him felt safe? That's what I said. Somebody okay. made a joke earlier, right? What, what, what? About his wife? Somebody, somebody and, and a woman, I, I read this too. I didn't see it. I didn't watch the Oscars. But yeah. a woman made a, a joke about his wife cheating on him because it's common knowledge that she's had real affairs. Jada made it Jada. common knowledge. J Jada made this common yeah. knowledge. She talked about it. And so everybody knows that she had an affair with this guy named August for years, for years. I mean, I, I'm, and, I bet you that was probably the slap was more that's, like that joke. That's you know? right. That's right. So let's watch a little more and watch how Chris. Hansen, <laughs> oh, okay. That was a. Uh, I mean, that was the greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watch them, like you, know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. So here we go, here we go. Can you imagine? So can you imagine having to give Stand there and keep your cool and give out an award after the biggest star in Hollywood just assaulted you on camera. I have to say, I can uh, as a comic. That's a thing I can imagine. Uh, got to do the rest of the show. I can't. I mean, I never got slapped by Will Smith in the middle of the show. That would really take a lot of the air out of my prepared material. You see them all laughing. <laughs> she's laughing. He's laughing. She's laughing at people. She's laughing. They're all laughing. The only one who isn't laughing is her. And so Will Smith, it's been said, I don't, I don't know. But people keep saying, well, that's because uh, he's like, a, he, she controls him. That's what people are saying. Or I that, mean, it looks like it. That or, looks like or that someone his, desperate. For, people, uh, yeah. Approval. And people are saying that uh, his balls are in her purse. You know, people are saying that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, right. But uh, that definitely isn't, a, that's not strength, what he did. Well, nobody that it is didn't not look strange. like it to anyone. Everybody thought it looked bad. I and haven't heard the, the bully here in this situation is Will Smith, who played Muhammad Ali in a movie. For, forget that. Who's six two? Don't forget that. And and probably two hundred and forty pounds. And uh, Chris Rock is five ten and weighs ninety five pounds, soaking wet. <laughs> I know. Is, was it a stretch to play Ali because Ali was a guy who cheated on his wife rather than vice versa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know if you saw that yet. That's oh, good. Jeffrey, that's, that's Jeffrey. really good. All right, so I'll read this in a second. Yes. Jeffrey Ross has a take. 
and we'll we'll listen to it. But there, so again, everybody's laughing, and I just want to show you how Hollywood works. If you're a powerful big star, or if you're powerful like Harvey Weinstein, you can assault someone on camera. There it is, and a few minutes later, they're going to give you an award, and everybody's going to give you a standing ovation. Wow, those pictures together are really so. I've seen them together. The, and and he'll talk about God. And he'll talk about God. He'll talk about God. So after that, the Academy tweeted out, the Academy does not condone violence of any form. <laughs> <laughs> Marion Williams says, except you clearly do. And then right underneath that, Britty is the way says, you awarded a guy who committed assault on live television. That's literally the definition of condoning violence. <laughs> it looks like the award was for the violence. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> And he talked about the violence in his award speech. And he made it sound like it was the Christian thing to do. Oh, God. Uh, here's what Brian Stelter reported. He says, uh, Academy leadership strongly considered removing Will Smith from the Oscars telecast Sunday night after the actor stormed the stage and slapped Chris Rock in the <laughs> face. A source close to the situation tells CNN. But we were afraid he'd slap us. <laughs> uh, he... There were immediate discussions about removing Will Smith from the Oscars show after the smack, but the Academy's decision make decision makers were seated in various spots in the theater and couldn't mobilize to make a decision before he won Best Actor. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, it, it's the thought that counts. Like we wanted to do, <laughs> we wanted to do something, but the, he was uh, sitting all the way over by the bar, and I was sitting all the way by the bathroom. And how are we supposed to stop a maniac who's assaulting our hosts? We're seated so in different places. Man, comedy is the lowest rung of show business. No yep. matter where you're at, no matter it's where always, you're at, I say it all the time. I'm beneath a ventriloquist. I'm beneath a magician. Definitely beneath uh, yeah. porn stars retire into stand up. That's how they stand up. <laughs> so here's Will Smith's acceptance speech. And the Oscar goes to Will Smith! <laughs> Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, I hope he doesn't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Is that John Travolta? It looked like John. I don't know. It looked like it. Looks like, it looks like really, really. Yeah, it is John Travolta. They're hugging everybody. Watch how he makes this sound like a Christian oh, thing he did. Uh, Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. You ever go to, uh, did he ever go to jail for assault? <laughs> I'm just wondering. Because you should have. You should be in jail. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in uh, 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 he's got, God is calling on me to be a bad example of how to handle <laughs> your problems. God is calling upon me to do the wrong thing on the biggest public stage in history so that Bobby. I will diminish my accomplishments and I will embarrass everyone involved. <laughs> That's what God is calling on me to do. He's going to wrap himself in fucking God. God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he's going to wrap himself in God. God, please give me the strength to be a violent cuckold. <laughs> yeah, so people are calling him that. Here we go. This world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most strongest, uh -huh. most delicate people afraid. I've ever met. What's that? I looked afraid. I got oh, God, to protect... Sanaya and death. So now he's, do you see what he's doing? I'm the guy. I have to protect people from jokes. I will assault you to protect women. Hey, you come with my family, you better have your dick out. <laughs> <laughs> Me. 
the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people <laughs> and to protect people. This, this is, is great comedy. This is dumber than Jerry Springer. I mean, and that's why we hired the bodyguard that Epstein had. <laughs> <laughs> and to be a river to my people. What? He's a river to his people. He's being called. Now he's crying. Of slaps? So he's crying. To do what we do. You got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to... Well, obviously you can't. You couldn't even take a mild joke aimed at your wife. You can't take any of that. You're a sensitive little narcissistic maniac who's entitled. And by the way, he's going to get away with it. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. There is some um, warp thing where, like, especially Hollywood, where like saying a minor thing is worse than physical violence. That's to right. A lot of people, I, I, it's yes. really crazy. Well, I've always said this about me and my comedy career, and uh, that I never did anything uh, that fame wouldn't excuse. <laughs> I never did anything that fame. If I was famous enough, people would all look the other way. Right. That's what I've said. I've never. So if I was a famous comedian, the shit that people complained about that I did in my career, they wouldn't be complaining about it. Yeah. Isn't that the old uh, political saying? Like, don't be caught with a dead woman or a live boy. It's yeah, that's politics. right. <laughs> that's right. Don't be don't be caught with a dead hooker or a live boy. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. We'll talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. Yeah, but you didn't. You didn't do it. You then set the worst example and you assaulted someone. You should be in jail and you should be kicked out of the academy. And you notice they're not going to play music to interrupt. Yeah, him they're not going to play music to play him off. But they would Michael. They would Michael Moore when he said that the Iraq war was a war crime. They played him off. But him, they give him all the time in the world to justify assaulting a host a few minutes earlier. If he cries, he's crying. This guy you is a coward. Smile and you got to uh, He is a coward, just so you know. That what he did was cowardly, and it showed weakness. It didn't show strength. Because He's a very actor of him. Yeah. Like, that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what oh. I loved, thank you, D. Oh, God. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. Oh, Chris no. Rock came? The, the, the Chris Rock is not the devil. The devil is inside you. It's your own inner demon. Is that has saying, nothing to do with Chris Rock. Wait, is he saying the devil? Oh, so he's not saying the devil coming from was him slapping. That was God saving him from the devil. And I don't know. I, would, I don't know, uh, Kurt. I really don't. I, it, but it's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Like, doesn't the devil get you when you get your first big money, big check? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's usually when the devil. That's comes when the in. devil gets you. <laughs> and everybody's like, like everybody's like, yeah, the, you, the devil came for you. You're all right. Go ahead, assault people. Is now? Do you think Denzel's looking at him like, are you serious, or do you think he's touched by it? I, 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 that face could be like, are you joking? It's like, honest to God, I can, can I, you cannot find the smallest violin in the world. Can you find a smaller violin in the world to play for this fucking guy? This narcissistic egomaniac entitled Hollywood celebrity. I wouldn't even take that as an insult. That joke, by the way, I know I'm going to show I, you how other comedians don't think it's an insult. I like it. All right, that's that's what's so mind blowing to me. It's not even like it's just like oh, you look really fit and your head shaved. Yeah, and your head shaved. That's it. <laughs> I want to be a vessel. I want to be a vessel of love. For love. For love. Okay, you, you failed. Say, yeah, yeah, you failed. And is that vessel right here when you hit somebody in their face on camera? Oh my god! And he never he never apologizes to Chris Rock. Thank you to Venus and Serena. I just spit. I hope they didn't see that on TV. Um, what? I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the entire 
Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. Yeah, but what hypocrisy. What? Oh. Somebody's, somebody in that crowd is like, shut the, shut like, the I, fuck up. I have to believe a bunch of I want to like, all right. You can't, you can't just go smack an iconic fuck. You can't assault one of the most iconic comedians in the world. And then two minutes later, talk about how you're about love and God is calling you to do things. And how about you just go up there and apologize and get the fuck off stage? Apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Yeah, but, but not to Chris um, Rock. He's feeling he's sorry for yourself. So this is him worried. He's a little worried. Yeah. That's what this is. He's a little worried. He's a little worried. That's all this. This is that he those tears are for himself. Those tears are for his pain with his wife and his wife cheating on him. That's what wanna, this is. I want to apologize to my wife's boyfriend. For, uh, <laughs> this is a beautiful moment. And I'm not <laughs> I'm not I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not it's not about winning. Oh, really? What are you crying for? for me. It's about somebody else. It's about being so, able to shine light. Yeah, that's on all on, of the people. Yeah, Tim, that's what it's and, about. And Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and because if there's anything, if there's ever a profession that's not about yourself, <laughs> it's acting. Emmy and Ingenue and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Uh, uh, did no. Richard Williams ever assault anybody? Uh, That's all I'm asking. So uh, look, uh, it's just a joke. I'm the crazy father. <laughs> um, but but the movie, love will make You're the crazy cuck who snapped at a joke, at a, at a mild joke, and you're unhinged, entitled narcissist. That's what you are. It just looks so bad to not react to that and then react to a minor thing. Yep. Does it doesn't... You do crazy things. Love makes you do crazy um, things. That's what he said, love. Yeah, like, to my mother, um, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me, but uh, to, to my mother... Um, <laughs> She didn't want to come out. She was, had her knitting friends. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching. <laughs> Watch her with. Um, um, being able to love and care for my mother and my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Uh, thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment and thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine, the entire Williams family. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, Hope the Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's exact. That's exactly what he's worried about. That's the only thing he's worried about. That's what he's worried Wait, about. He, he's worried. He's, did you he's, see him like, at and, one he's point, like, like and he's laughing. I hope they invite like, me back. Oh God. Did I do it? Was, was my going, crying good oh. enough to get me invited back? Go did, ahead, Kurt. Did you hear him say his mom was in her knitting club? He yeah. Gets, at yeah. that point, he's going, oh, God, where's the music that plays you off? <laughs> Play that music. So there, there, there he is. And they all applaud. And they give, look, they stand up. Look at that. That's nice. Isn't that nice? Uh, Will Smith saying he wants to be a vessel for love 15 minutes after hitting a guy live on international TV and then getting a standing ovation is just an incredible summation of what Hollywood's all about. It really is what Hollywood's all it about. It really is what Hollywood's all about. You want to see how, how, how did it happen that Harvey Weinstein was able to do that for decades to some of the most popular uh, actresses in the world? How was he able to do that? Because there, there you see it right there. Because nobody is going to do anything because the most powerful guy in the room, we're all going to make money off him. We got to be nice. He, Will Smith has power. I need a job. 
Will Smith has power. He's going to make us money. Will Smith has power. I want his movies to get uh, to go into distribution. Will Smith have power. Oh, a lot of people have a lot of money invested in Will Smith. Yeah. When uh, I remember being at the Emmys when uh, Jeffrey Tambor won. For yeah. Transparent for playing trans women. And uh, so they're all applauding him. I, you can, you know, none of them watch the show. He he holds it. He goes, "If I could be the last cis man, this is years ago, before he got run out. He yeah. Goes, if I could be the last cis man to play a trans woman, I wouldn't be sad." Everybody goes, "Woo!" All, applauding like like if Al Jolson was like, "If I could be the last um, white man to do blackface, that wouldn't make me sad." <laughs> like they're all, no, they just applaud like cat. They don't know what the hell they're applauding at. They just want to get you know a piece of it. So Kanye is banned from the Grammys for calling Trevor Noah names on social media, but Will Smith can physically assault someone on Oscar stage and people are consoling him? Something, somebody explain this to me. I'm dumb. And then she says, uh, Denzel Washington is the man. Will Smith said that after the rock, and st rock on stage moment, Denzel Washington told him off camera, at your highest moment, be careful. That's when the devil comes for you. I mean, that's true. I, I thought his face, Denzel's face was like, yep, see, I told you, the devil, the devil came. And you shook hands with the devil. <laughs> yeah, you made out with him. Will Smith assaulted what is essentially a co-worker. That's exactly right. They're both on the same show, so they're both being employed by the same company at that time. Will Smith assaulted, well, I don't, I, I, Will Smith assaulted what is essentially a co-worker in the middle of a work event. He will have a career tomorrow. Had he used this platform to praise Joe Rogan or J.K. Rowling, he would not have his platform tomorrow. Now, I don't know what, I don't follow the J.K. Rowling thing, but I know about the Joe Rogan thing, and that's for sure true. Well, just anyone that's not officially right. approved by the machine, you know? Yeah. The Academy nominated American Sniper six times, the Bradley Cooper film celebrating a real-life war criminal who said he killed damn savages for fun and bragged about looting homes of innocent Iraqi families at the site of Fallujah massacre of civilians with chemical weapons. So this was in response to the Academy saying they don't condone violence in any form. Didn't so, they give a award he, to the other one with torture in it? Uh, Zero Dark Thirty? Uh, Didn't I get an award? I don't follow close enough. I had to watch that acceptance speech again as it is such a master class in narcissistic yes. God complex, seriously indicative of the American foreign and domestic concept of our place in the world. That's 100 percent true. It was a narcissistic. God. I'm being called to protect <laughs> yeah, right. all these women. I'm being called to protect everybody from Venus with people who don't need protecting. People really powerful and unbelievably rich celebrities. I'm here to protect you. That's what Will Smith's doing. He's there to protect unbelievably sec successful celebrities. <laughs> That's his big calling from God. That is what they're like. I mean, if you people that are famous, that is what they're like. If pe famous people, they, they have God complexes. Yes. God told me to slap Chris Rock. Because of the devil. Because of the devil. <laughs> hey, why don't somebody hand, somebody hand, uh, could so, somebody should have handed him a, a puppy to, to kind of shield himself, right? That's what, <laughs> so he could stand behind somebody. There's a fire truck there with a warm blanket around Will Smith's shoulders <laughs> afterwards to come for him. <laughs> Are you okay, Mr. Smith? <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, you everything all right with you, Mr. Smith? Uh, you know how the saying goes in every open marriage, there's one whose idea it is and the one who puts up with it. I'm going out on a limb and saying the joke had nothing to do with it. That was a public meltdown and a convenient target. Yeah. I think so. I think that joke earlier in the night. Hey, we're doing our live stand-up tour. We're going to be in Orlando. We're going to be in Tampa, Columbus, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, much, much more. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all the tickets. And you can come see our shows in Los Angeles, too. We do one weekly. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com and become a premium member while you're there. Get all the extra content. Thank you. Thank you.